चेस्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव वैभव सिंह जय हिंद सर हाँ जय हिंद वैभव प्लीज हैव अ सीट थैंक यू सर बी कंफर्टेबल वैभव देर इज नथिंग दैट इज गोइंग टू बी यूनिक आई एम गोइंग टू आस्क यू मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टोल्ड मी एंड इट विल बी एब्सोल्युटली सिंपल थैंक यू सर जस्ट पुट योर माइंड ऑन टू द थिंग्स एंड आंसर फेयरलेसली ओके वैभव लेट स्टार्ट वैभव यू कम टू अलाहाबाद फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम यस सर वॉट हैव यू सीन और वॉट डू यू इंटेंड टू सी सर वॉट हैव यू लर्न During your journey to Allahabad, did you meet anybody in the, uh, while traveling, and what have you imbibed from them? Thank you, sir, for the beautiful question, sir. Sir, uh, first I would like to thank you for. Uh, uh, no one has asked about my journey till now, sir, and you are the first one who is inquiring, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, now about my journey, sir. Sir, it has been a very wonderful journey till Allahabad. Uh, I came here from the railway uh, through railway, sir, and sir, my journey had been very interesting, sir. For as you said, sir. like uh, who who i met sir so i met a couple sir they had a beautiful baby with them and sir i actually love children a lot sir so uh, i spent some time with the child and even learnt about them what uh, they why they were going towards the alabad sir and uh, what are their plans over there so they told me about some beautiful places in alabad like triveni sangam sir uh, and the alabad inscription uh, the prayagraj prasasti uh, pillar sir so they have told me about that that that, that they will they would be going over uh, towards that place sir. and sir i have learned about these places from alabad about alabad from those people and sir i will also uh, like to see those places here sir and sir my journey was great sir thank you for the question sir what did you buy from the people you met sir thank uh, sorry sir i actually forgot about that question thank you for the repetition sir sir uh, i actually when i saw them sir they actually shared a very great bond sir I learned about uh, learned the cooperation they had between each other, sir, and the way they talked to me in a very respectful ma- manner, sir. I I learned that uh, they actually were communicating with a great ease and uh, very in a very respectful manner. So, sir, I learned some social skills from them, sir, and even that uh, you should respect your juniors too, uh, like your younger ones too, sir. Thank you for the question, sir. Okay, good. You addressed it well. Now let us move to the second question. Uh, I have seen you performing your GTO task and your psychiatric task. How do you rate your performance in a scale of one to ten? What do you think, or who do you think is the strongest point? What What was your strongest point during the screening process? Thank you for the question, sir. Uh, my psychiatrist task and the GTO task have been great, sir. First, sir, I was a bit nervous about the task because I was not much familiar about that how. i'll do them but sir the instructions were very clear sir and they were very clear so i could easily grasp them and do my best in the gto task sir i have put my full effort sir when if i have to rate my efforts i would rate them 10 out of 10 sir but sir i believe that there was maybe some uh, flaws in my uh, performance so i i would like to rate my performance 9, 9 out of 10 sir so about my sc- screening sir i believe that my strongest part was that my narration i believe that i narrated with a great confidence and i even actually sir i went to the brigadier defense academy where uh, brigadier amit chatterjee sir he taught me about that you should uh, try to emphasize on your narration most so you should even try to put a title in the story you should try to put a quote in that so that you can uh, attack people sir which i very well did sir and therefore sir i believe that uh, i made a great impact which even helped me in the group discussion for uh, uh, at that time i in, uh, not only initiated the group discussion sir i even concluded the group discussion and have actively participated in the group discussion so sir in the screening process my main strength was my uh, p- uh, picture perception uh, narration and the group discussion sir thank okay. you so much for the question okay sir. good you have identified your strengths very well uh, you come from dehradun as i see you come from dehradun haridwar is very close to dehradun it is a religious place how much is the distance between dehradun and Har- haridwar and what is haridwar famous for thank you for the question sir uh, you have reminded me sir actually i have went several times to the haridwar sir like my father was posted in the rishikesh range so we used to go uh, several time travel in there sir we li- uh, used to live in his quarter and then we used to go to haridwar even my bhaji is in haridwar sir so that is a, uh, actually you have reminded me of those two, uh, times sir now my father is retired so we don't uh, go much there but sir you have reminded me of those beautiful memories thank you so much sir sir uh, in haridwar sir haridwar i have uh, some places which i have uh, gone uh, gone is the harki pedi sir i guess it's pedi or podi sorry sir uh-huh. sir it's harki podi uh, i have went there sir it is a bra- uh, great place sir it is well known for the ganga snan 
actually and uh, many people go there for that even i have been there several times and sometimes we even went there for the at the early in the morning sir like uh, there was one kum mela sir and we actually went there uh, early in the morning and did that uh, snan over there and sir then there are two great uh, temples also sir chandi devi as well as sir the Mansa Mansa Devi, Devi, Devi sir, yes sir. Those two great temples. Sir. Again, we have been there several times. Sir. We have gone there several times, even with my younger sister, sir, uh, my young co cousin, younger sister, sir. And sir, other than that, sir, there is also chill. Uh, I am not will chill chill life, sir. I guess there is that. Life century. Yes, sir. So, sir, uh, even that is a great place, sir, which uh, a person can go for tourism, sir. And Sir, these were the beautiful places of Haridwar, sir. Thank you so much for the question. You forgot a question. What is the distance between Dehradun and Haridwar? I'm, uh, sir, I am extremely sorry for for the mistake, sir. Sir, uh, uh, I am completely not sure, sir. But I can be a bit approximate that uh, it is more than six. Uh, definitely more than sixty, sir. It is definitely. Are you sure it is sixty kilometers? No, sir. It is definitely more than sixty, sir. Uh, it's like uh, if I check from the survey of, uh, like the survey of India, uh, chalk, sir. From there, uh, Rishikesh is around more than thirty, thirty kilo, uh, thirty-five kilometers. And from Rish uh, Rishikesh, Haridwar is uh, approximately thirty to thirty-five, sir. So that's why, sir, I believe that it's it's definitely more than sixty, but it can vary, sir. I might be wrong, sir, in this point, sir. Okay, take care. I've got your point, huh? Who's your role model in life, and what have you imbibed from him? Sir, you have actually put forward a great question, sir. Sir, um, I have actually this question is very important because I wanted to put forward a person uh, who is actually not connected to me very much, sir. Sir, like I have already told the Brigadier Defence Academy I have gone to. Sir, the Brigadier Amit Chatterjee is my role model, sir. Uh, role model, sir. Uh, sorry, sir, for the fumbling. Sir, he is my mo uh, role model sir, uh, because he is uh, in the army, sir. I have seen his physique. I have seen the way he talks to people, sir. I have actually been uh, with him for a month, sir, in which I have learned many things from him, sir. Like I have, I have not seen his determined. He he is determined, sir. That's why he is in that in that post. He has great social skills, sir. Along with that, sir, I have seen him hardworking myself, sir. Like, sir, he has been sitting with us for like four four five hours, sir. I have seen him hard, working hard for just us, sir. So that, sir, actually uh, made me very happy, and uh, sir, I, that's why I respect him a lot, sir. Along with that, sir, his physique is great, his uh, charisma is great, sir. He has been uh, sharing his experiences with us. So therefore, sir, he has become my role model, and I try to imbibe all his qualities into myself, sir. And I would like to be an Indian Army officer like him, sir. Thank well, you for the question. I sir. like your answer. Next time I'm in uh, Dehradun, I'll go and meet. Brigadier A.K. Chatterjee. Sir, too. actually, uh, if you meet him, sir, you will love him, sir. Okay. He's a great personality. Uh, tell me something. Uh, your mother is a homemaker, you have written. What have you imbibed from her? And do you confine more in your father or your mother? Sir, uh, you have asked a brilliant question, sir. But, sir, can I please ask the meaning of confine? Confine means you share your secrets with. Okay. Thank yeah. you so much, sir, uh, for clarification, sir. Sir, uh, about my mother, sir. Sir, my mother is a homemaker, sir. Sir, homemaker is a very difficult job, sir. I, I personally believe that homemaker is a very difficult job. She has been the backbone of our family, sir. Sir, uh, she, I believe that she has great qualities, sir. Like, uh, she has great stamina, sir, for she has been doing all the household chores by herself in the very past, sir. And, sir, as I told, as I have told that my father had been living away from us. Like, uh, he was uh, posted in this case, a sector, uh, range, sir. So, uh, he was there. So, my mother was the one who used to handle all the things in the house. And she has completely imbibed all the person kind of person I am. Major part is of my mother, sir. So, she is very important to me. And she has imbibed all the good qualities in me. Rather it be the moral value, sir. Rather it be the knowledge that I have today. Sir, it is all because of my mother, sir. Other than this, sir, the qualities that she has, which I have personally seen, is the stamina, sir. Along with that, the courage that uh, how well the house, sir. And sir, she has the sense of responsibility which is uh, which every mother has, sir. So even that, sir, I've imbibed from her. <laughs> sir, even she has great organizing abilities. Like she is the one who actually uh, makes the home budget, sir, uh, of our house. Uh, monthly home budget, sir. She, uh, that is made by her only. And sir, uh, along with that, she is the one who organizes all the parties that we have in our house, whether it be the festival parties or the birthday parties. Sir. So she has great organizing skills. She has organized our home so well, sir. It is very clean and tight. She is actually uh, affected to the cleanliness, sir, too much. She um, and sir, even she is a great cook, sir. So sir, uh, what I have learned from her is hard work, determination, courage, organizing abilities, and sir, the sense of responsibility. Uh, 
um, thank you for the question sir and sir about uh, to whom about um, uh, who do you confide in yes sir, whom i can thank sir sir i believe that because i have been with my mother so, uh, with uh, most of the time sir like my father used to come once in a week and sometimes twice in uh, once in two weeks sir so i have not been much interactive with my father sir so i have rather put, uh, i don't have these kind of secrets with, uh, first of all but uh, i have communicated with my mother most so they, that's why I, I feel that I have complained with my mother more. Okay, Thank good. you for the question, sir. Good. Uh, you you said uh, you are from I, uh, Aryan school. Which class did you join Aryan school in? Who was your favorite teacher? What were the qualities you uh, you looked in her and why? Okay, sir. Thank you for the question, sir. Uh, sir, I joined my class uh, the Aryan school uh, in class one, sir. And sir, uh, after that, I have been in that school only, and I've completed my uh, second uh, whole education from there, sir. So uh, then, about my teacher, sir, the, my favorite teacher, as such, there had not been many like my only favorite teacher, but I believe that computer teacher, my computer teacher, P.K. Uh, Poonam Kanda, ma'am, was uh, the one who I affected, uh, with whom I had a very better bond than other teachers. For my, uh, for sir, because it was one of my favorite subjects, sir, and she was a uh, very she was always humble to us. She was very friendly to us, sir. That's why, sir, I was able to maintain a better bond with her, sir. And, sir, because of that better bond, sir, I have even uh, I have even participated in her school exhibition. She gave me the opportunity to first time enter into the school exhibition, and then, sir, we I participated in that. And then the next year, I was also part participated in the physics school exhibition, sir. And, sir, our uh, like uh, af after that. Um, my bond with that teacher became strong because I started uh, first learning the uh, computer very well and then I even got stronger in that so, so because of that uh, our bond got stronger and even the participation in school exhibition made our bond stronger sir because uh, we used to stay back at the school sir so uh, I actually spent more time with her than any other teacher sir thank you for the question sir okay I've got your uh, point tell me something uh, you said that you have a lot of experience in your school exhibition. Tell me something about that and also tell me if you were passionate to, uh, passionate to join the army, why did you not join the NCC or the Boy Scout? Sir, sir first I would like to answer the first question sir, the experience in exhibition sir. Sir, uh, it was not, I have very much experience in the school exhibition, I have participated twice only sir. The first time it was the computer exhibition, the second time it was the physics exhibition sir. So sir, when the first time I was participating, it was a great experience sir. So it was the very first time I participated in a school exhibition and that too in, the, in a subject in, uh, whose teacher was very close to me sir. For, uh, she was the one which, uh, with whom we used to interact a lot and she was so humble and uh, she, she talked to us in a very lovely manner sir. So we uh, shared that bond with her. Then sir, uh, at that time sir, you reminded me of those days too sir, that uh, when we used to um, uh, we used to stay back in the school, sir, and at that time we used to work over there, sir. What what was our main project was, we, uh, me and my friend Arav were given um, a project on uh, preparing logic gates. We were to prepare three logic gates and or and not, sir. These were the three basic logic gates which uh, we could have easily uh, prepared with the help of wires. So, sir, I'd, we did that, sir. It was a great experience learning uh, uh, about that. And after that, sir, we even uh, learned about the different programs that uh, other children have made. One of my friends has made a program like uh, we uh, in our school, t if teacher used to get absent, then we have substitution teacher. So, sir, uh, for that, a child has had made a program by which uh, uh, we just have to enter that uh, this teacher is absent and the substitution timetable itself came in front of us. So, sir, that was a very progressive thing that our uh, batchmate made. And so I learned from that uh, from him what uh, he did. But actually, sir, it was so complicated that I couldn't understand the very first time. I would uh, uh, learn about it uh, again from him, sir. And sir, there were other things too, sir. So there were crossword in the Excel, sir. I was not aware of these things, sir. I, when I went there, I learned about lot. And sir, this school exhibition not only helped me in giving gaining knowledge, sir, but it gave me a self confidence, sir. 
it made me it showed me that i have the power of expression like i can uh, put forward my views sir first i was a bit nervous because i had not, never been uh, talked to i have never speak in english with other people sir especially the pa parents sir so first time i was a bit nervous but uh, with gradually as the time uh, moved on sir like uh, in half an hour i was i became very fluent and i actually greeted all the um, uh, parents that came over here and then explained about the topic which we were given sir like the three gates and sir it made me feel that yes i can social uh, i have great social skill and uh, that boosted my confidence a lot sir other than this sir it also helped me uh, in uh, in improving my organizing skills too sir uh, and sir this was the experience that i had in the school uh, exhibition sir thank you for uh, for this question sir now sir about the second question that you asked sir so this is actually a question that i myself asked sir but sir like uh, in my in our, firstly in our school we did not had the ncc or the scouts sir and for uh, that is a disadvantage of the the arun school sir i believe that they should add this thing too and sir proper knowledge of this should also be pro provided sir like uh, this was available in the diana nanglo vedic college sir in which i am currently a student sir but uh, because i lack the knowledge that uh, this can be used in used to getting an entry into army sir i was not well aware and when i went to the second year uh, to when i learned about this i went to this uh, went to my college and asked them to give me they said that uh, we only give this uh, uh, you can only join ncc to uh, if you are, are in the first year sir so unfortunately i could not get this sir and this is uh, this actually question is a question that i uh, several times asked to myself why i haven't joined this ncc fair enough Okay, Thank moving you, on. Uh, if you were Chief Minister of Uttarakhand for a day, what will be your first decision and why? So, sir, so this is a question, sir, that I never thought of or dreamt of, sir. This is a very shocking question, sir. But, sir, I'll try to answer this, Chief Minister of Uttarakhand, sir. Sir, this is a very great post, sir. Sir, I believe, sir. that first i would like to look on to the problems that are in in this place sir. i have actually uh, i have personally not fe felt any problem in the dehradun sir like there might be some problems but uh, m not much visible to me sir so uh, i'll not focus on the dehradun section i'll uh, rather look towards the other region where um, like the hilly region sir it is said that uh, that the villages in the upper region like the, in the hilly region are getting emptied and many people are migrating towards the city sir so maybe my first action could be just to initiate a step to take an initiative to help people getting facilities present in the hilly area sir so that uh, they don't have to come down sir like uh, sorry sir down they don't have to come to the uh, cities uh, section and they can get proper facilities in their own region get proper employment or the facilities they require sir that would be my first step sir yes very well addressed Thank i think palayan is one of the biggest problems from the hills and if we can overcome that in in uh, uttarakhand we'll save a lot of resources thank you sir okay yes, sir. do you love movies sir i wait let me ask you a okay. question then before you answer this who is your favorite actor what would you like in him or her what is your favorite movie of that favorite actor and why and what would you like to imbibe from him or her sir you have put forward a great point, uh, question sir i sir tend to see uh, tend to watch movies but uh, as for some uh, who is my favorite sir there is no such person that who is my completely favorite uh, i believe that every person has some good points and some bad points in a similar way someone has done some great thing in one thing uh, one place and maybe he might have not performed that well in some other movies but sir i would like to put forward that uh, vicky kaushal sir he has done a great acting in the uri the surgical strike uri movie sir so i believe that his uh, role was great sir and i that is the favorite movie that i feel that he has done and sir i would like to imbibe the he has uh, played the role of an indian army officer sir so i would like to imbibe the qualities that he has shown in the movie the uh, quality of uh, determin uh, de determination sir courage hard work sir along with that uh, his uh, quick mind uh, like the way he easily uh, got out of the problems sir the effective intelligence and along with that sir i would like to uh, imbibe the quality of to ab ability to influence and to encourage his men like the dialogue house the joshua sir. sir that that thing i would like to imbibe from him sir very good thank you very well addressed what is your favorite food who prepares it for you 
and uh, do you think food is necessary if so in what quantity and why is food important or exercise your opinion sir sir the question you have placed is uh, very beautiful and it has reminded me of the <laughs> breakfast that i had today sir actually my i have been eating uh, like aloo ke parathe is my favorite sir aloo ke parathe with the kisan sauce and a uh, tea sir and a cup of tea that is uh, the best thing that i like it is something that i love most and so that made of my mother are actually one of the most uh, delicious thing for me sir and sir i would like to invite you in my house uh, like if you get a chance if you visit dehradun please do come to uh, i would like to be your host sir and we'll enjoy the parathas together sir aloo ke parathas and sir uh, i believe that uh, uh, as your question was that uh, do you think that food uh, food is excess, uh, that in what quantity you should have it is it important or not sir i believe that food is very important sir and uh, not like we should not just like sir my diet is not well balanced sir for i just actually eat three aloo ke parathas uh, a day sir and uh, i i have uh, like it is uh, mainly the carbohydrates pre- present in that carbohydrates and a bit fat sir and the protein content is less maybe i should act, uh, substitute chai with uh, milk sir uh, so that would be a better thing i believe that balanced diet is something which is important sir so uh, proper quantity of everything is important and we should have uh, some uh, vegetables and fruits too like i don't have it in my meal sir i would try to improve that thing too sir and sir as you have said that uh, the con- the quantity it should be decent and the uh, is it important or it is it exercise sir so i believe that it is important sir i i could not uh, i believe that it is important for us so that we can do exercise sir so that we can have energy and we can work properly mentally as well as physically sir you know i love aloo ka parathas also but the unfortunate part is if i have to keep a body like the body i have you can't eat aloo ka parathas anyway so that is the a- invitation i would love uh, to come to your house some day and uh, maybe by the time you reach i we will be there together and i'll come and have aloo ka parathas in your house sir the sentence you said uh, about the ima sir has placed a great smile in my face sir yeah. thank you so much sir okay tell me something did you take coaching for your nda written exam and ssb what did you learn from the coaching did you find the coaching helpful in your uh, addressing the various tests at the ssb would you recommend coaching for ssb candidates and if so why sir that is a great question sir and sir i was not ex- uh, expecting this question but uh, i would try to give it in the, in the best manner i can sir uh, talking about the india written examination sir sir i actually did not went for a coaching for this uh, uh, part and sir maybe i believe that this is the biggest mistake that i made sir so i lost my two uh, i could not make it through the india two times sir and this is maybe because i did not had the proper guidance sir i actually maybe i became a, i did not i believe that i can do it by myself too but sir maybe i was wrong sir on that but sir luckily i got uh, not just luckily because of my hard work and uh, because the, i did understood that how i should tackle the challenges coming in front of me like the mathematics sir, that, that is a great challenge sir, in this exam i managed to uh, solve that challenge and after that sir um i easily did that uh, uh, crack the examination so if i would have uh, got this information earlier sir like in my first or second attempt then maybe i could have done this uh, i could have been here earlier sir so i believe that in, uh, coaching is very important and i did do the coaching for ssb sir so ssb is a procedure where you are not aware of things i when i first went to the uh, brigadier defense academy in dehradun sir there i got to learn about the different procedure that happens sir, the about the ppdt task then about the oir i learned about oir, OIR uh, then sir about the different tasks like uh, gto task group discussion how, what are the important keys of uh, what in what manner you have to place things sir like sir about my narration as i have told about in ppdt sir i was not well aware about that we have to put a title and we have to put a quote in start and end if i would have got that uh, if i lacked that guidance then i would have not been here sir so sir i believe that uh, coaching is very important sir and they you should actually know that uh, how you have to put forward the point uh, like in what manner you have to present yourself over there sir if you are going there without anything then it is like as if you are you are not uh, focused towards that thing sir 
so i believe it is very uh, important for people to go uh, for proper coaching sir, so, uh, so that they can do in a better they can at least do something over there they are not because sir, when i came here i have seen many candidates who were not taking actively participating in the group discussions sir so maybe because they lacked that knowledge that they have to participate in that actively and they have to put forward their point even the sir title and the quotes were not present in many of the candidates so sir i believe that uh, it did give me an upper hand and i believe that if uh, so, uh, other people should, should also go to the coaching so that they can be a better competition uh, and everyone are well aware everybody is well aware about what the procedure are and how to tackle these challenges sir Okay, Thank your point is taken. Indo-China relationship is at its lowest ebb nowadays. What do you think will improve relations between the countries? What will be your recommendations and why? Is boycotting Chinese products possible? What phone do you use? Is it Chinese by Chinese chance? <laughs> sir, you have put forward a great um, uh, question, sir. I see again, sir. I was not expecting this question, but this question <coughs> is of uh, national importance, sir. And I'm glad that you have put forward this point. Sir, I don't have enough knowledge about this, sir. But I'll try to put forward what I know, sir. Sir, I believe that major problem is the border dispute. We have we share a great border, sir. So there have been many disputes. We should try to diplomatically solve the problem, sir. If 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 it is po possible, then we should try to solve this problem diplomatically. This will definitely make our relationship better with them. Along with this, sir, uh, as we all know that uh, Chinese goods have been penetrated deep inside our market, sir. But no vice versa trade is uh, present at the moment. Like we, either we don't, they don't want us, sir. If they don't want us, sir, then why should we ha take their? Or maybe, sir, we are not producing uh, that good stuff that they would like to have. So maybe, sir, uh, we should even emphasize on our uh, domestic factories so that we can have better products, which will not only reduce their uh, uh, trade in in our country. Like uh, we'll stop using the definitely will stop using their product if we have better product from India. And uh, sir, this will even tempt their uh, citizens to have our products, sir. So it will definitely bring a better trade link. Like uh, it will not be just a monopoly. Like they are uh, sending their goods in our country. But we are not having any trade with them. We are not uh, exporting goods to them, sir. So that will be a great help again, sir. And sir, I believe that uh, these two things will. I believe that these two challenges can be solved in this manner, sir. And at the moment, sir, I can't think of any other challenges. What is the phone that you are using, sir? The phone I am using, sir, it's Samsung, sir. <laughs> Luckily, sir. yeah. <laughs> no, sir, okay. not luckily, sir. Actually, that uh, it is the reason, sir. Uh, I why I emphasize on Samsung is because I did not wanted to use the Chinese product, sir. Very good. Uh, that is the spirit for your country. <coughs> Thank you, sir. Why do you think we should recommend you? So that is a great question, sir. And uh, thank you for the, giving me an opportunity to put forward my point that why should you, I am better. Thank you for the question, sir. So I believe that uh, army needs a person who is determined, who is hardworking, courageous, sir. Who uh, who is loyal to sir, and has great uh, intellectual power and leadership quality. Sir, about the leadership quality, first of all, I was not uh, thinking. Uh, I was actually thinking by, in my own mind that uh, maybe I I have not shown these uh, any such quality because uh, in even in my sports I have written about the cricket, but I have not uh, mentioned anywhere that I have been a great leader, sir. So. Uh, other than uh, this quality, all the qualities have been uh, been in me, sir. I have I was very well known that I have the qualities, but this was a quality that I was not well aware about. But sir, when I participated in the group discussion, in the GTO task, I saw the picture uh, in picture perception the group discussion I did. So I believe that I have that um, quality, but the thing is that I could not show that um, quality uh, before. But sir, I believe that I have that quality too, sir. So I believe that. Uh, I can. Uh, I even have the leadership quality. I have courage. I have determination. Along with this, sir, uh, I am a mission-oriented person, sir. And uh, at the moment, my mission is to join uh, NDA, sir, National Defence Academy. And uh, this is my last uh, attempt, sir. So I am trying my best to do this. For this, there have been many challenges, sir. But I love to solve challenges, sir. I like challenges and I like solving them, sir. I am a team player, sir. I have been uh, cooperative to others and I have been very uh, respective also to others, sir. Not just my uh, elders but also my uh, junior, sir. So, sir, I believe that I will be a great uh, Indian Army officer if I get a chance. Along with this, sir, I believe that I have all the, um, as I already mentioned, the, all the officer-like qualities that needs to be. And I have sir, been with a great uh, Indian Army officer myself, like uh, I have been with uh, Brigadier Amit Chatterjee, who has uh, shown great uh, skills, uh, great qualities in himself. And I have tried to imbibe all those qualities from him, sir. So I believe that I'll de I can definitely be a good uh, Indian Army officer, sir.
thank you for the question sir it actually gave me an opportunity to put forward my views about myself sir thank you so much sir good uh, we have got a good insight into you and you, uh, i wish you all the best thank you, you must so do sir. continue doing gto tasks that you are performing and uh, hope to see you in the conference and hope to see you smiling there thank you so much all sir. the best jai hind thank you sir sir it was a great learning experience sir, over here thank you so much sir you have been very like i was actually no, a bit uh, worried that how my interview will be, go on but sir it was great sir it actually did not feel i did not feel that it was going an interview i rather felt it was a conversation between you and me sir thank you so much sir thank you so much baba thank you sir jai hind sir jai hind